Hello, YouTube viewers. So I'm home, and I went to E3, and let's just say it was absolutely awesome. And I did bump into some of my friends there that I was hoping to bump into there, and it was everything I hoped it could be, and so much more. Let's see. Start off with, I got this awesome badge, official, with Teddy from Persona 4, if you're familiar with him. And I also took a picture with Teddy, a live, well, person in a Teddy costume. And I can potentially win a 3DS special edition one, but it's region locked from Japan, so I'd probably only be able to play Japanese games on it. But what better way to practice my Japanese that I learned a couple of quarters ago and is starting to diminish? And, well, I wouldn't have been able to go to E3 if it wasn't for my boyfriend and his father, who works in the video game industry, which allowed me to get this special badge pass to go to E3. And before I go on further, for those of you who don't know what E3 is, it stands for Electronic Entertainment Expo. It's basically a, an expo for video games. And I played plenty of those there. Let's see. The first thing that I got when I got there was this balloon from the game Sunset Sunset Overdrive. It's probably backwards for you guys. Okay. So yeah. It's fun carrying this guy around. I didn't carry him in my hands out a bag, so that was good. And when I went uh, to take a picture with Teddy, we also got a bag. This is what Teddy looks like. Full form. So yeah, got a similar kind of bag from Comic Cozy, which was actually from Comic Con, given as a raffle prize. So, and I got to play the new Super Smash Brothers demo, and I mostly played as Rosalina and Luma. So, I, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely like her. Well, I usually play female characters to begin with. Well, not really. I'm usually Kirby. I'm always Kirby. Um, but yeah. And my favorite color happens to be blue. So, even better. I am actually pretty, I like, I, I, I love playing video games, but I suck at them. <laughs> so, speaking of which, I got this awesome flipping the shirt around. Yeah. On the other side, it says Super Smash Bros. Nintendo for Nintendo 3DS and for Wii U. Played it on the 3DS and on the Wii U four times. A lot easier to get access to the 3DS games. It's very popular because anyone, everyone who won who, the 3DS, not the 3DS, the Wii U version would get a free Super Smash t-shirt 
obviously, as I said, I'm not the best. But my boyfriend won one for himself, and he got this one for me. So, they all came in large, I guess. Yeah. So, people would end up to be like, I need a small, or a medium, or a large. And, yeah. It was pretty sweet seeing them play the new Super Smash Bros. on the big screen. And, oh yeah, in case you're wondering what's on my glasses. Um, various people buy the video games handing these out. And, bullet bill. These two characters were on my Mario shirt. But I am not wearing the Mario shirt anymore. It got hot underneath the shirt. I had it up until on up until I covered up with the shirt. And as soon as I got home, took off the other one because it was all hot and sweaty. Anywho, so yeah, games I got to demo at E3 today were of course Super Smash Bros on the 3DS and Wii U um, and I went in line to play Hyrule Warriors and that line was just taking forever while I was in line I got to play um, Sonic Boom on the 3DS which is pretty fun Sonic the Hedgehog always great you can play all sorts of different, all the, you can play different characters, not just Sonic. So I like that. And, um, yeah, while I was there, that was when my friends showed up and I saw them. And never did play Hyrule Warriors. And, yeah, it was after that. Mm, yeah, we played. Yoshi's Woolly World, where everything is yarn. I sucked so bad at it. My boyfriend and I played it together, and he put to keep me alive. If we both die, we doomed. Um, and what else? Well, play a ton of Super Smash. It's fun. Fun. And, um, I also played Exploding Zoo on the PS Vita. It's kind of frustrating because I got stuck on one level and I had no inkling of how to carry on with that. There's exploding animals. Zoo animals and you have to play it to get what I mean. Um and I would have played Just Dance, ah, but my arm is still, can't be doing this with this arm. And let's see, how about it? Alright. Yeah, I didn't get to play that much actually. And the last game I played was Apotheon on the PS4, and that was awesome. Very simple game in 2D set in the Bronze Age Greek it's like it looks like you're playing a game on the pottery and the funny thing is you break pots in the game too and in the demo we just fought each other and it's bloody and it's fun very simple controls but in the full game um, you're supposed to climb Mount Olympus and beat the gods that sounds awesome. If I had a PS4, I totally get a Pathion. <sighs> so many awesome stuff. It was just a lot of walk, a lot of standing, no sitting. The only time I sat was when I, when we ate lunch at the food truck. Got takoyaki, but that's always good. And I was so happy. I could read the words arigato on the food truck. Very simple. And yeah, I'll be 
you will see some, I'll show you some clip footage that I took at E3. So I hope you enjoy. Have a good night, everybody. Or not, because I tend to post these things past midnight. Well, bye! So here's one of the stages in the new Super Smash Bros. demo, and as you can see, it's pretty inconvenient for the big yellow guy when you from side to side. But aside from that, it is pretty awesome, and everyone is enjoying it. Yeah, maybe it'd be better if I just flip it around. Okay.